1976, the series between Arizona and Seattle has been tightly contested. A win today by the Cardinals would tie it at 22 games apiece. And it's coming up next. Renamed in late 2020, there's a look at Lumen Field here in Seattle, Washington. These folks love their football in Seattle. This was the scene a moment ago as the home squad came out of the tunnel, and it was just absolutely deafening in this building. They're set for football, so are we, as the Seahawks get set to match up with the Arizona Cardinals. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you look at the Seahawks team as they get ready here. They come in playing pretty good football. Winners of four of their last six games. Meanwhile, for the visiting Cardinals here, they're hitting their stride of late. Winners of three of their last four. And the offense, my goodness, over 50 points in the win last weekend. When you do that, you're not going to lose very many games, maybe not any games. Six-year-old quarterback who's in his 14th NFL season, the former MVP Matt Ryan. You enjoyed watching that game tape, didn't you? Yeah, Last week's game, good. four Me? touchdowns, one pick. Now you were a little upset about the pick. I didn't know if you would play him this week or not. <laughs> if you were the head coach, hey, they got the win. They got the win, so you got to give him another chance. Give him another shot. All right, I think the ratio is pretty good. He'll try to eliminate the interception, but he wants to keep that hot streak going, throwing touchdown passes. The numbers on the ground for Carson last week. Three touchdowns on the ground, and then Charles, he threw one in through the air for good measure. Yeah, you know you have to account for him in all situations. I mean, we know he can run the heck out of the football. You just noted what he did. But how about him being able to get out of the backfield, catch it, and get into the end zone as well? And he'll get this up only to about the 33. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. Here's Carson. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. That goes for 14 yards, first down Cardinals. Third and short, so didn't need much, but got a little extra on the backside. Nice run. Chewed up the yardage, didn't he? To me, that was offensive line with leverage, good blocking angles, taking on a stacked defensive front. And once they chopped that little hole in the beginning, he took it and rambled. And just the third play from scrimmage, wanted to avoid the three and out and did just that. 12 more yards there and another first down. And that last throw right there putting him already over 3,000 passing yards now for the campaign. And given where we are in the season, Brandon, you have to think to yourself, if he stays healthy, I think 4,000 is a given. I think 5,000 is not out of the question if he stays hot. And pretty good results here on the first down run as he takes his forward for about six. He was well over 100 yards last week. He told us this week, a little ambitious, that he wants to hit that 200 mark. We'll see. Makes sense, though, doesn't it? Have we ever run into a running back that had a great game the week before that didn't think that's just going to naturally continue? Just make sure you feed me the football. And that's what they're all about. Continuity, rhythm, number of carries. Just keep giving it to him. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. If you make the stop there, maybe you hold them to three on this opening drive. They didn't get the stop. Yeah, new set of downs now. Now you're worried about, just as you pointed out, not just giving up three, possibly giving up six. Let's see what they decide to do here because they've got to change up what they have been doing. It hasn't been working. They run. Robinson. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. 
The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. And that'll set him back five. A false start penalty, and now they're back to needing 10 yards on second down. Now they'll throw it with Ryan. They'll run the screen with Carson. And he'll go down at the 28. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. Defenders have intercepted. Picked up by Janoris Jenkins. And a huge return as he'll take this one all the way down inside the 30-yard line. Now here are the Seahawks in great shape to start their first drive. They'll be led by a three-time pro bowler in his fifth season. It's Deshaun Watson. And it felt like in watching the game tape, he got everyone involved last week. He know? was a manager. He really was. That's a great way to put it because they ran the ball some, they threw it accurately. One touchdown pass, so he didn't, you know, break the bank doing that, but he didn't throw any interceptions. That's the bottom line. That's why a defense loves a quarterback like that. Doesn't put them in bad situations. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. The numbers for Brown from a week ago, three catches, 56 yards. Better tighten up the coverage and expect to slow this guy down because if he gets going, he'll eat you up. First carry for the former Buckeye, J.K. Dobbins. And he'll get four there down to about the 12-yard line. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Now we've got whistles and movement up front. I think this is against Seattle. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Draw play, ETN. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. That'll wind up as a loss on the play. So now they're staring at a third down and 12. I think we got to give it up for him right there. That's a heck of an athletic move for a big man right in the middle of the line. How about the play he makes there? Nowhere to run, and he finishes that one off for a loss. Throwing on third down, Watson. And he's not able to get away. Sacked back at the 22. Devon Kennard. He's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. We always talk about how teams are so competitively matched, and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between letting them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal? That's absolutely huge with the play he just made. And you know he hated taking the loss there on third down. And Bailey able to knock it through. And the Seahawks grab a 3-0 lead. In the end, the opening drive, Charles does yield points. Maybe not the touchdown that they wanted, though. Yeah, but bottom line, they wanted to get something out of that drive, and they did that. Three points, they won't turn that down at all. No return here for Clay Brooks, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. Chris Carson trotting back out there. Last week, what a game. He was knocking on the door for 200. And one of the things I saw come out of last week's game in his post-game press conference, he gave a lot of credit to the offensive line, as you might expect. He also talked about the wide receivers blocking on the perimeter because no big game happens unless wide receivers block as well. And watching film, you showed me he also made people miss. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Now a give, right side, Carson. And not a whole lot doing there, so he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. On third down, Ryan. And Hill with it over the middle. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 
Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And he's top five in the league in terms of receiving yardage because of plays like that. What have you seen from him on film that you like so much? Well, I'll strip away everything else and get to what we call the moment of truth. When the ball's arriving and there's a defender there, he just comes down with the ball. He competes and takes it away. Great hands, great ability to finish the catch. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now it's Ryan. That's complete into the hands of Carson. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. From the 45 on second down, Ryan throwing the out route incomplete. That's Robinson. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. To throw again is Ryan. Got an open man. It's Michael Gallup. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A good pick up there of 20 yards. So that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, give me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. They'll run on first down. It's Carson. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. 46 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. But they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. He's going to be sacked back at the 23-yard line. Yannick Ngakwe make that now eight sacks for him on the season. That's at least 2020, partner. Maybe they should have kept it on the ground again. Well, it almost looked like the O-line was run blocking again. I mean, they opened up a big hole last time. This time they opened up a hole, and the quarterback got sacked. Back quite a ways here, facing second and 19. And we've got movement by one of the big boys up front for Arizona. Flag comes in. Not easy being a rookie left tackle in this league, and there they got it for the penalty. Not easy at all. Think about what you're dealing with every game you play. Ostensibly, the best pass rusher is over you on every snap. I'd be a little jumpy myself. Ryan hit, and he lost the football. And the Seahawks have picked it up. And the return comes to a halt right at the 44-yard line. A little careless with the football. And he also had a fumble loss last week, didn't he? He certainly did. And when I'm watching him play, the one thing that comes to mind is always remember traffic, turbulence, people around you. Two hands. Get two hands on the ball. Grip it tight. I know it looks cool to have it in one hand. Put it away, tuck it away, because you've got to take care of the ball. Following the fumble recovery, Watson, Hunter Henry brings it in. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Running out of the gun with ETN. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. Three-nothing after one on EA Sports. Second quarter now from Seattle, and it is the Seahawks with the football here. As they've got it with a third down coming up. They'll try to run for it with Dobbins. And yeah, boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. On fourth down, here's Matt Bosher on the punt.
And that'll hit at the five and go into the end go, zone for a touchback. Here we go. Chris Carson trotting back out there. He's been good. They've utilized him well, but they're losing here in the second quarter. What might they change offensively? I think that what you try and do is expand how you get the ball to him a little bit. Get him out in open space, maybe swing the ball to him. What's that they used to call in the West Coast offense, the long handoff? Yeah. Serve as your running play that way, as well as continue to feed him the football. Some of these runs now may pop bigger later in the game because of the effects of running it. Sometimes people after a while, they don't want to tackle him anymore. Or they get tired or they get out of position or he runs through tackles. Continue to feed him the ball. He's having that kind of game. Yeah, might they get him the ball in some space in some different ways here. And Carson unable to make it to the yellow line as the defense bottles him up. No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively. And it likely forces a punt situation on fourth. Here's Tommy Townsend on to punt. He punted five times in the win last week as this one's away. Good open field tackling there. A 50-yard punt followed by just a one-yard return. And it'll be Seahawk football first and ten. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And you know, it's certainly a lot of football left to play. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're in first place in their division, looking really good and looking to be a threat come January. And are you one of those early holiday shoppers, partner? Are you one of those guys get your list done? Because I think about what every team has on their holiday shopping list right now. What's the number one goal? Make the playoffs. Number two, win your division. Number three, and I think the biggest goal of all, Try to get the number one seed so you get that first round by and ensure you don't have to go anywhere in January and hopefully get to the Super Bowl that way. Under pressure now, Watson, and down he goes. Cameron Jordan in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. to try again after the sack. Watson. Henry's got it. Out on the left side. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. It'll wind up just a 35-yard punt, no return. And the Cards will take over first and 10. They'll start out on the ground with Carson. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Now it's Carson. Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave him with a third and about five. Now Ryan. This one complete to Curtis Samuel. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. From the 45 on second down, Ryan. That's caught by Hollister. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 35. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. They'll toss it out to Carson. Uses the stiff arm, and he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. This is Carson. A solid stiff arm. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. 89 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. And we 
we've got movement by one of the big boys up front for Arizona. Flag comes in. Come on, fellas. From back at the eight now after the false start, another try at first and goal. Now it's Ryan. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. He's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. Matt Ryan, a three-yard run as he kept it himself. And the Cardinals have taken the lead. Offensively, pretty effective option play there for the score. Certainly was, and it appeared to me that the defense overshifted and overplayed the trail back, the pitch man, and almost forgot about the quarterback. In fact, they did forget about the quarterback, and he turned it into a touchdown. Dustin Hopkins on now to add the extra point. And this is up and good to make it 7-3. So that drive, 80 yards, nine plays. And it ends with a three-yard scoring run. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading onto the field again. And for him, it's been pretty limited involvement. Down on the scoreboard, maybe time to turn to this guy. And you know me well. Winning games to me means starting with the running game and continuing to press the running game. Maybe you go away from him a little bit now, but the bottom line is he hasn't touched it enough to make a difference. Well, they haven't established that running game yet. The question is, will they? Watson, a little touch pass on the jet sweep. He'll have a first down past the 40, and he'll take it to the 43-yard line. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Out of the gun, Watson. Over the middle here to Brown. A gain of six there on first. On second down, a run with ETN. And he'll get it across midfield and down into Cardinal territory. And the Seahawks on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. They're up against a third and one situation. They'll run with ETN. And trying to shake free, but ETN cannot. The defense will stop him short. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. Here's Matt Bosher now as he's on to punt for Seattle. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And a fair catch called for and made at the 12-yard line. It's just a 32-yard punt with no return. And the Cards are going to have the football with a first and 10 deep in their own territory. Chris Carson trotting back out there. He's in his own second quarter, already closing in on a 100-yard game. And that's the magic number for a running back. Anytime you get to that triple digits, that's all you're looking for. But he's got a chance to really exceed that in this one. Yeah, he does. That, that's been the gold standard for a long time, hasn't it, that 100-yard mark? It really has. And that never has to shift because it's in a game. It's a 1,000-yard mark. I'm wondering since we've gone from 12 to 14 to 16 games. Maybe we need to up that a little. Throwing again on second down. Ryan. And incomplete. Something we haven't really seen much of from him. An incomplete pass. Yeah, last week he finished at 70%. This week he's up over 80%. I don't know how you slow him down. Pass rush is usually the best way because a quarterback on his back usually can't complete a pass. Here's Ryan to throw. Here's Carson with a catch out of the backfield. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. Throwing again, Ryan. Over the middle, complete to Samuel. Now the card's going to call another timeout, their second, as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Two first downs have them up to the 41 now for first and 10. 
to throw is Ryan. He'll fire this deep for Gallup. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Here now is second and 10 again for the 41. Here's Ryan. That's out wide here for Robinson. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Again, Ryan. Got his target, Samuel. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. And this kick is not going to be close. It's well short, well right to boot. And this score will stay right where it is. So that would have been something from that distance, but to no avail. Comes up empty as we have reached the intermission. As we'll send you eastward to Orlando, standing by with that EA Sports Halftime Report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. Let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. Time now for a check of the next-gen stats in that first half for the Cardinals. And it's been the running game that's pushed them to this halftime lead. Over 100 yards as a team in those first two quarters. Meanwhile, for the Seahawks, the rushing numbers tell a different story. They really couldn't get a whole lot going on the ground. And the evidence, the numbers. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. And he will not bring it out. It's a touchback. Let go. The Seahawk offense set to go to begin this third quarter. And they do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline. Faking the give, now Watson. This is caught, it's Boyd. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. On first and 10, Watson. His throw incomplete. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of, and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Back to throw, Watson. He's going deep for Brown. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. He'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. There, this punt will go out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25, and it will. Right at the 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. begin the drive with Carson and nothing much materializing there on the first down run he'll get a couple and that's it now we're going to get a stoppage here as we've got an injured Cardinal on the field while the trainers take a look we'll step aside hey. 
The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Now Ryan. Toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. From the gun, it's Ryan. And he'll get this into the hands of Hill, complete. Shoves him away. And he is down deep into Seattle territory. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, I think you can make a fair case for Tyreek Hill being the most explosive player in the NFL when he gets his hands on the football, and that was exhibit A. And that's the kind of play where you have to kind of catch your breath afterwards to so just give me a second here because when he shifted into high gear, he was an absolute blur out there. No substitute for speed. We talk about that all the time. The evidence was right there. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Carson again. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. With the ball mere inches from the white line on third and goal. Carson is in. Touchdown, Arizona. Everybody in the stadium knew what they were going to do right there, CD. Three tight ends on the field, all that extra bulk, and they run it in. And you saw where that one went, right? You run it over your best blocker. I can just see the head coach right now. I want to run this one over the big boy. And they got it done. Here's Hopkins now for the extra point. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. So that drives six plays, 75 yards. And it was all capped off by the Chris Carson touchdown run. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. The Tampa Bay offense set to go again. Their deficit is 11, 14 to three, and needing to get something going here as they come up on first and 10. Here's Watson. He's airing it out for Sanu, and that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. On second and 10, Watson. Open man, the tight end, Henry. Unable to corral him, he fights through. And all the way in, touchdown, Seattle. Well, for a tight end, he can definitely motor. He shows off the wheels there after the catch as he's able to shake free. Yeah, normally when you talk about tight ends, you immediately begin talking about them rumbling down the field. But to me, he was pretty well gliding downfield there. Very athletic for a big man, and he takes this one all the way to pay dirt. And the next-gen stats show us the tale of how much yardage he was able to tack on after the catch. Watson, a little touch pass on the jet sweep. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Well, partner, since this new two-point rule came into play, offenses spend a lot more time working on it. That means the defenses are doing the exact same thing. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. Here's Chris Claybrooks to return. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Chris Carson trotting back out there. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're a back, because that means everything's coming together for you. The big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. You've probably gotten some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block, but they're helping out too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Yards. 
from the shotgun. Ryan. He's going to find Gallup here complete. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. On second down now. It's Carson, and he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. They run it with Carson. Jesse Bates made the tackle from his safety spot. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Movement by one of the big boys up front for Arizona. Flag comes in. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. For midfield now, here's Ryan. Throw left side, taken in by Hill. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 38-yard line. That, I believe, will put him over 100 yards receiving for the game. Yes, it will. And he's got a first down to boot. And he gets it down to the 32. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Ryan. A quick slant to Hill. They have certainly looked his way in this third quarter. Another catch, and it's good for a first down. Here's Ryan. Open man is Samuel, complete. A gain of six there on first. From the 17, here's second and four. Ryan. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Hill. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he will get into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Chris Carson with his 13th touchdown of the year and second of the game. And the Cardinals will extend their lead. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember well executed to give them a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. Now it's Hopkins to add the extra point. And this one gives his guys a 12-point lead. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it was all capped off by the Chris Carson touchdown run. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. After the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offensive sales because they had it going pretty good last time, too. Had to sit over there for a little while, didn't they? You know, they were eager, amped up to get back on the field after just scoring, hoping to get the ball back quickly. That didn't happen, so I'd say come out, just kind of get started again. You know, it doesn't have to be anything dramatic. Just get moving, get loose again, and see if they can get it downfield. Now a first down throw complete downfield. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and, of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. On the counter now, it's Dobbins. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I think this running game, or should I say lack of one, is making this defense look better than what they really are.
Second and 11. Watson now to throw. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Out of the gun, Watson. And he'll just toss it away. So he throws it away, and that brings up fourth down. Here's Matt Bosher now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And this will depend on the spot as it sails out of bounds. And they'll say it sailed out at the 10-yard line. The field position game, such an overlooked facet, Charles, of an NFL game. But this offense, they're going to be pinned back. What an ideal punt. An ideal punt, and it leads to that term complimentary football. Because them doing that puts their defense in a great spot, doesn't it? Gives them a chance. If they want to be aggressive, try and maybe get a safety out of this whole thing, it puts them in that position. On first and 10, it's Ryan. That's going to be caught by Samuel. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Here's Ryan to throw. That's out to Hill, right side complete. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. Seven catches for him now in his last one, the first down. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. On first down, Ryan. That's caught by Hollister. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Ryan got his man there complete to Gallup. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Final minute now in the third quarter. Now Ryan on first down. And Hill with it over the middle. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. The Cardinal passing game dialed in now. First down. Now it's Ryan. That's Samuel caught left side. Touchdown, Cardinals! Curtis Samuel, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Cardinals get another third-quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical, that's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now, starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Extra point good by Hopkins. And that will make this a 19-point game. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. Now a first down throw. Watson got a man. It's Brown. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. We have played three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Seattle, Washington. It's the Seahawks with possession of the football, but they do trail here to begin quarter number four. On first and 10, Watson. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. Here's second and ten. To throw is Watson. And 
his throw is going to be incomplete. The Seahawks on third down. They're struggling. 0 for 6 thus far. This is third and 10. Off of play action, it's Watson. This is caught. It's Boyd. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. 21 yards there on third down. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. From the 50, it's Watson. And this complete to Henry over the middle. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. Boy, the evolution of the game and how these guys in plays like that can get out of the pocket, keep plays alive, it just makes things so much harder for defenses. It really does, and we're talking about an era in the game where the quarterbacks are the most athletically gifted that we've seen in a bunch. I mean, we talk about collectively, it's unbelievable. So their ability to move is practiced now. It's not necessarily, oh, he just took off and you guys figure it out. When he takes off, everyone knows where to go now. They know how to run routes, change things, make themselves presentable for the quarterback. It's a lot of time that they put in on it. It's not just your static one, two, three. This is where the ball goes anymore. Throwing on third down, Watson. Steps away to his left, and he is out of bounds inside the 30. Decent gain on the scramble is six, but now it's fourth. Well, he was looking at a dime formation, six defensive backs on the field, so he's looking for anyone, anyone to throw the football to, but he didn't have anyone open, so he took off and ran for it, but he came up just short, and that brings up fourth down. Bailey's kick is good, and that'll get the deficit back to 16. Well, with that field goal, you can argue they needed to get back within two scores, and they did indeed do that, but still a pretty uphill battle. Still got to take two fourth-quarter touchdowns to get back into it. As you and I know, that's a tall order against any NFL defense. They're going to need their own defense to make some plays as well to give them an opportunity. No return here for Clay Brooks, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. They'll throw on first down with Ryan. Hitting Samuel on the slant. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Here's second and a yard. How about this? They'll try the option. Left side pushes past him. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. That will go for nine yards and a first down on the keeper. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane and he keeps it himself there and worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it, most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now Ryan. They'll run the screen with Carson. A good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard, and it's second down. The key to any screen play is all in the deception. That means everyone on the offensive side of the ball. But someone gave it up because that one wasn't very well concealed. And the defense able to rally to him and hold him for just a short game. Looking to throw again on second down. Ryan, and this one incomplete, threw it down at the feet of his receiver. The Cardinals on third down. They've been tough to stop, eight for 10 so far. This is third and nine. From the gun, it's Ryan. He'll kick it away for the second time. Oh, 
It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And it'll be Seahawk football as they take over deep in their own territory. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Fourth quarter, every drive's so critical. And you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You can have the first one for the second one to even matter. To throw again on second down. Watson. And his throw here is incomplete. And the Seahawks on third down. Just one conversion and eight tries. Not good. This is third and 11. Now it's Watson. And brought down, but not before reaching the 25. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Watson looks to throw again. And right side, Henry's got it. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. A shotgun snap and again to Dobbins. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Here's Watson. This will be caught by Brown. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. A shotgun snap and a give to ETN. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. First and 10, it's Dobbins. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. Well, we've got whistles and movement up front. I think this is against Seattle. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Watson now to throw. Open man here, the tight end, Henry. Well, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. That one good for 26 and a first down. From the gun, here's Watson. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. Back to throw, Watson. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. And I can see the officials kind of looking at each other down there, silently wondering, does this meet the level of grounding? Fortunately, he did have a receiver in the area, but I have seen less obvious throwaways called as penalties. Dobbins, and he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. Now a third and goal situation as this Arizona defense tries to stand tall once more. Off the option, here's ETN, and he will score! Touchdown, Seattle! Travis Etienne, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Seahawks go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. So this back now to a 10-point spread, and you have to imagine they'll line up and go for two. Oh, no question about it. If they can get this to an eight-point game, they can make things awfully interesting here in these last few minutes. All right, now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. Looking to maybe throw for it here, Watson. 
flush to his right. And they will get back to within one score as he is into the end zone and the leads cut to eight here in the fourth. And that almost makes it a brand new ball game. Now it's a one score affair after they get the two. And you have to know they were holding their breath on the two point play because they had to have it to get it within the range that you just talked about. Dialed up their two point play, it worked. Now they're feeling like they've got a shot at this one. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. No return here for Clay Brooks, and it will come out to the 25-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand-new ball game. And now look at the situation. You've got plenty of time on the clock. Defensively, they have three timeouts. So do you run the football here, or do you throw it? I think you have that full conversation with your offensive unit. And you tell them, here's the situation. They got all their timeouts, so we are not going to play this conservatively. We've got to attack them. We've got to make them use those, gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away. And you think we're just going to run it three times and punt it? You've got another thing coming. Yeah, I and mean, by the way, also the two-minute warning in play, so essentially four timeouts left. They have to be aggressive here. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. Now, this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop them here. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Now we're going to get a timeout here as it looks like there's a Seahawk injured on the play. Well, he gets attended to. He'll step aside. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Here's Carson. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Now a give right side. Carson. Now the Seahawks forced to use their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's Ryan. That's into the hands of Gallup over the middle. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. All right, let's just go ahead and walk through this one pretty easily, right? Blast off the line of scrimmage, get downfield to a certain point, usually around 8 to 10 yards, turn around and make sure the quarterback sees your numbers and set yourself up for the pass. A well-executed curl route by Charles Davis. Down to a knee, here's the Cardinals look to let the clock roll. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Ryan heads down to a knee, and that should wrap this one up. So it's a win here for the Arizona Cardinals, and they were buoyed, Charles, by a big second half that put this one on ice. So you get the sense that whatever was said at halftime obviously hit home. I think it's a little bit more than that, though. Obviously, there are words that are said, and hey, come on, guys, we have to play better. But sometimes it's just sharpening your execution, sharpening your focus, and maybe doing the things you practiced all week without major adjustments, just doing them better. And that got it done in this one. So for the cards, they move back over 500 now at six and five. And they'll be able to enjoy this one through the bye week before they get back at it again. Meanwhile, for Seattle, it's a bit of a setback as they drop to six and four now. And they'll try to rebound next week on the road in Washington.